EastEnders finally aired their Christmas trailer tonight, and it looks like it's going to be a horrible Christmas for Max Brenning. Max is first seen looking worse for wear as he arrives at someone's doorstep in a hoodie and bags under his eyes. As viewers will know, his brother Jack finally found out that he was behind Matthew being taken away from him and booted him out. This could mean that Max is now living on the streets after being rejected by everyone in Walford. Karen Taylor then appears on screen, after having finally found the phone that her children nicked, and asks Keegan to put it through Stacy's door. Of course, the phone still has Jane's voicemail message warning Stacy about what Max is capable of. Stacy is then seen questioning what Max is up to, asking what he is up to. The camera zooms in on her five missed calls, one from her mom and Martin as well as three from Jane. There are also five voicemail messages. We then hear an upset Jane telling saying on the phone Max is holding to his ear, he's out of control, Stacy, and he is capable of anything. Stacy is then seen leaning against the tabletop, upset. Has she listened to the voicemail message? Lauren tells her dad, who is later seen crying alone in the square, I think you need help. There's a virus in my head that's making me do all these things, he says in a voiceover. Max is then seen talking to an extremely upset Stacy, who screams at him to let her go. In the next scene, Kathy and Dean are seen drenched as she pleads with Max to finish this. As the rain engulfs Walford, a fight breaks out in the street, and it looks like it could be Phil beating Max up. The Mitchell threatens, you're over, Max. Will Phil kill Max as revenge? 